So in this video, we're going to look at how to find the distance travelled from a curved velocity time graph. Now, if you remember, in the previous video, we looked at finding distance travelled from a velocity time graph and saw that that was given by the area under the graph. Now, with a uh, straight line graph, that's relatively straightforward in that the area can be found as a rectangle, a trapezium, or a, or a square <clears throat> maybe a triangle. However, with a curved line, it's a bit more difficult. So the general method for that is to, first of all, work out what one square on the graph paper would be worth. So we're going to work out the distance represented by this one square here. So this one square would represent a distance of 5 times 100. So that would represent a distance of 500 metres. So once we have found the value of one square, our next job is to count the squares under the graph. So if we do that, what's quite helpful is to first of all count up the complete squares. So we'd have one, two, three, four, five, near enough, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then I could say roughly this bit and that makes 15. Um, this bit and that makes 16. And this bit and that makes 17. So I've got roughly 17 squares. So now to find the total distance travelled, I would do the number of squares times by the distance of one square, which would give me 500 times 17, which would give me <clears> 1000 <throat> times 17 over 2, which would give me 8500 metres.